All right. So next, we look into dimensions or dimensions. Now, as you can see on your screen, that dimensions of a physical quantity are the powers to which the fundamental units are raised to obtain one unit of that quantity. Now, dimensions in engineering is very important in, in um, deriving equations and also it helps us a lot in knowing the uh, units for a measurement. Now, we can write quantities in dimensions and when doing that, we write them in squared brackets, which I will show us in the next few slides. Now, examples of dimensions and their symbols are shown below. And please note that dimensions consist of basic units, like your length, your time, your mass, all these are dimensions okay we have length as you can see is now in a squared bracket because we represent dimensions in squared brackets and the symbol we use for length in dimension is capital L next is the mass this is dimension we use symbol capital M the next is time the symbol we use for time in dimension is capital T next we have temperature the symbol we use is capital K and we have electric current the symbol we use for current in dimension is capital I and please note that for dimensions we put the dimensions in squared brackets and we write the symbols in capital letters. Now, I will show us how to write dimensions of some quantities or physical quantities. How do I write dimensions of quantities? In this video, I will show us three steps of how we can do that. The first step is to write out the formula or the units for that given quantity on the right hand side. So most times you are giving, for example, you are asked to find the dimension of, um, let's say, speed. So the first thing you do is to either write down the units for speed or you write down the formula for speed on the right hand side step two you substitute you substitute capital m capital l and capital t for kilogram meters and seconds respectively that means where you see kilogram you replace it with capital m where you see meters you replace with capital L where you see seconds you replaced with capital T then step 3 you can now evaluate where possible this is very important in science and that is why dimension is one of the very first concepts that we learn in physics it helps us to know uh, the similarities between equations and please you must note that in dimensioning some quantities are dimensionless and in dimension when you are writing the dimension of quantities and you see a number or you see a or you see a dimensionless quantity in that question you replace it with let with one that means that the dimension for dimensionless quantities is one 
Some example of dimensionless quantities include numbers, logarithm, trigonometry functions, exponents, and so on and so forth. Now, what I'm saying right here is that when you see numbers in dimension, it becomes one. When you see logarithm, it becomes one. When you see trigonometry functions, it becomes one. So the dimension for dimensionless quantities is one. If you have any question, you can write your question in the comment box. Now, I'll be showing us three or four examples of how we can derive the dimensions of some quantities. And uh, I have sent your teachers some tutorial questions which I will expect you guys to try and make try and do some practice. Now how do I find the dimension of for example volume? How? If you don't mind I will recall the steps. Now in the previous slides I gave us the steps to finding the dimensions of quantities. Now, how do I find the dimension of volume? Now, as you can see, the first thing I do is to write the volume in a squared bracket. Very important. This means that the squared bracket implies that I am finding the dimension of volume. So, if you don't have this square bracket, it might cost you some marks so please if you are finding the dimension of any quantity please always write that quantity in a squared bracket and the first thing i do for volume is to do what write down the formula or units now let me use units now what is the units for volume is meters cube am i correct good now it says substitutes m for kilogram l for meters t for seconds so here i have meters becomes what l but before that if i write meters cube in maths form it becomes m cube true so my m is meters and meters becomes capital L. So I will replace or I will substitute L for meters. So I take off my L becomes L cube. So this is the dimension for volume. L cube. This is my final answer. So this is how we find the dimension of volume now what about speed what is the dimension for speed first thing i do again i write speed in squared bracket step one write the formula or units for me i like using the units because the units makes it very easier for you now what is the unit for speed friends it is meters per seconds so if you must be very good in dimensioning you must know the units of different quantities so the unit for speed is meters per seconds now let's write meters per seconds in math form becomes yes meters per seconds meters per seconds is the same as saying meters m per seconds so what next i will substitute capital m for kilogram l 
for meters, T for seconds. So this becomes L slash T. Good. So we have what? L slash T. Now this is the same as saying LT to the negative one. This is the same. This means meters per second. So I can write it like this, or I can write it in this form. So this is the dimension for speed. So this is my final answer. So as you can see, the three comma dimension is M, L, and T. Where your M is for kilogram, the L is for the meters, and T is for seconds. All right, let's look at our next question. Let's find the dimension for force. Again, I write the quantity in a square bracket. Now, in this case, I want to use formulas. All right, so what is the formula for force? It is mass times acceleration. Is that correct? Force is equal to mass times acceleration. What next? What is mass? Mass is in kg. Is that correct? Mass is in kg. Why acceleration is meters per second squared. I repeat this. The unit for mass is kilogram. True. The unit for acceleration is meters per second squared. Now I can write these in maths form it becomes kilogram is what kilogram is capital m so i take off kilogram i replace it with capital m meters becomes l which is l per per is there seconds squared which is seconds becomes t squared now, I can write this same thing as this, which is meters times the length divided by t squared. Friends, this is the same as this. Nothing was changed there. It's the same thing. So I can also make this look much prettier. So, this is the same as this in your maths when you're doing your indices you learn more about this in your math so mlt to the power of minus two is the same as ml over t squared so this is the dimension for force this is my final answer If you have any question, feel free to leave a question in the comment box and also feel free to come to class and ask your question. Now, I'll give us one more example. Let's find the dimension for work. Now, the first thing I do here again, I will find the units for work. Now, what is the unit for work? It is kilogram meter squared per second squared. This is the unit for work. So as you can see, when you know the unit for the quantity, it makes the work easy for you. So what next? Kilogram becomes capital M. Kilogram becomes capital M. Meter becomes L squared per seconds becomes T squared. As you can see from this, from this uh, instruction, kilogram is 
capital M, meters becomes capital L, seconds becomes capital T. So kilograms is capital L, meter squared is L squared, second squared is T squared. Now this can be written as, as this, the same thing guys, nothing was changed. So this is the same as saying this. And now I can make this expression look much prettier or nicer, it becomes ml squared t to the negative 2 this is the same as this when t squared comes up it becomes a negative 2 i repeat that i repeat that when t squared comes up it becomes what a negative 2 all right now let's move to a different um, aspect and but before i move on i want us to note something very important that that uh, energy and and work has the same dimension all right so energy and work has the same dimension as you can see they have the same what dimension that is why work and energy are measured in joules work and energy are measured in joules all right so this is how we find the dimensions of quantities if you have any question, feel free to leave your questions in the comment box below.